to offer a practice to help relieve tension in the head, neck, shoulders, a little stretch for the arms, and some movement in the wrists, particularly if you're someone who sits at a desk for long periods of time and you're using a screen. So I'm going to actually put some music on. I, I encourage you, if you uh, watch this video a few times and you are wanting to do this practice on your own, uh, to, you know, it's nice to have that support of music. To me, it, it helps just my breathing slows. It's, it's a nice added support. So I'm going to put some music on. Inhaling and exhaling, letting the shoulders come down. Invite yourself to find the two bones at the very base of the spine and anchor into those bones. Lengthen the spine up through the crown of the head. Let your hands just rest palms down for now, or palms up. And go ahead with your shoulders square and back. Inhale, lifting the gaze, opening up space in the throat. Exhale, letting the chin come into the chest, feeling that stretch in the back of the neck. We'll do that a couple more times slowly, inhaling. And exhaling. Moving with the breath, inhaling and exhaling. This time when your chin comes into the chest, go ahead and let your gaze come out over one of your shoulders, inhaling and exhaling. Chin comes through up to the other side. Inhaling when you come up, exhaling as you move through. You might feel some different muscles calling your attention. You might also hear some cricks and crackles. One more time on each side. And then go ahead and let the chin come into the chest and back up to center. Let one of your ears move towards your shoulders, making sure your shoulders don't lean, keeping them square. You're welcome here to give yourself a little massage on the side of the neck. You might notice the muscles. Another option is to bring your hand to the top of your head, not to push, but just to let the weight deepen the stretch. You can also let your arm come out as if you were reaching down to pick something up that you can't see. Breathing in, breathing out. And then go ahead and release. Back to center, notice the difference between both sides, and then go ahead and bring your other ear towards your shoulder, keeping the breath coming in nice and deep and full. You're welcome to try the same thing on this side, giving yourself a massage. You might notice one side carries more tension than the other. You might, that might give you an indicator that maybe you can change the way you carry bags, anything like that. letting your head come back to center. We'll do some shoulder rolls, inhaling, exhaling. You're welcome to reverse direction. Inhaling back, exhaling forward. Again, find the range of movement that's right for your body if there's pain. That's an indicator to not move that part of your body and get it checked out. Go ahead and bring your arms out in front and I'll mirror this, taking the left arm underneath the right, turning toward the left, gaze out over the right shoulder, breathing in and out. And taking a deep breath in, releasing, coming back to center, placing the right arm underneath the left, turning towards the right, Gaze out over the left shoulder. Breathing in and out. Releasing. All right. So we're going to raise our right hand. I think we know the answer. We're going to take the left hand, bringing it back towards that right shoulder blade. Bend the right elbow as it reaches toward the sky. Make sure you don't um, compress the cervical vertebrae just opening up space in the body and doing the best you can meeting yourself where your range of movement is available
Take a deep breath in, releasing. And we'll switch sides, raising the left hand, bringing the right hand towards the left shoulder blade, and just allowing that left elbow to reach toward the sky. Keeping the spine nice and long. Breathing in and out. And exhale, release. So just noticing what's present in your head, your neck, your shoulders. And we're gonna bring some attention to the wrists, particularly if you're on a keyboard a lot or any repetitive movement. Again, coming to your range of movement of all these small muscle groups, and we tend to pay a lot more attention to the larger muscle groups in our bodies. But these small muscle groups, we ask a lot of them. So inviting yourself to move, again, if you are dealing with carpal tunnel or ulnar nerve radiation, um, seek treatment and guidance from a professional occupational therapist um, in regards to that. If that's not an issue, this will be helpful to prevent those conditions. We'll provide a little resistance with the palms, moving slowly with that resistance. And then back. You might notice the muscles in the arms as well as the muscles around the wrists. And then changing sides and Again, you might notice that there's your dominant hand that you use more often. You might have an awareness of difference in sensation with your dominant hand. These are just things to notice. And of course, when we notice, then we can perhaps spend more time and rub out areas where we might hold tension in the dominant hand. We might find you know, using some different movements to stimulate blood flow can be helpful. All right, so we just did some work with the head, the neck, the shoulders, the hands. So just noticing what's present, taking a deep breath in and exhale. 